Good morning, my dear friend and fellow shining being. It is I, Sylvia Hartman, coming to you live from beautiful Eastbourne by the sea, where once again today the sun is shining, the sky is blue, the streets are silent, and people are in their homes being stressed. Good morning, Janine. And Bear Collins, good morning, Bear. Woohoo! And Julie, good morning. Lovely to have you here with me today. <laughs> I'm uh, Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Ah, the Star Matrix people are out in force this morning. Renata, good morning, Renata. <clears throat> yeah. Ah. Huh. It's lovely, lovely to have you here with me too, Julie. <laughs> uh, Alexandra, good morning, Alexandra. Just going to say hi to who's joining us here today. And Katerina's with us as well, all the way from the Ukraine. Good morning, Katerina. Shining beings from all around the world. Assemble and unite. And Ilka from Germany. Hello, Ilka. <laughs> I'm going to do a short um, Sunday Live in German after this. I just want to, you know, say hi to our German friends as well. And Helen. Ah, good morning, Helen. Helen, what is the symbol of the day, we wonder? I'd love to know. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys, so where do we start? Where do we start? I start with saying that I'm in a fantastic mood this morning. And the reason I am in a fantastic mood this morning, good morning, Lila and Michelle. The reason that I'm in a fantastic mood this morning is that I had a, an amazing lucid dream this morning, around about eight o'clock and I woke up with a real wow. It was just an amazing thing. It was some. Um, ah, see them. <laughs> yes, the dance. Lovely. Thank you, Helen. Our magic symbol for today is the dance. Thanks to Helen. Hi from Turkey. Hi, see them. Waving to Turkey. Oh, so many shining beings from all around the world. We must unite. Clive, good morning. And happy birthday to you. Everybody say happy birthday to Clive. I don't know how young he is today, but probably Clive, mm, 25. Maggie, good morning to you too. And Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Lovely to see you here on my live stream. All right. So the reason that I'm cheerful is because I had a fabulous lucid dream. Good morning, Anita. Um... And it was like, uh, it, it was a, like a, a strange positive tribunal about an injustice that occurred to me about 20 years ago. And until I had this dream, I had just no idea that I was still hung up on it. And I feel so amazing. My dear energy mind gave me this beautiful dream of putting things to right. It was like having a, a court case and coming out of it and you've had your day in court. And that was what it was really all about. Winning, losing. Yes, I won, of course, but it's like, wow, it's a fantastic experience. And so I'm super, super cheerful today. And this has, <laughs> Clive, and this has had the effect on me that I have reversed a decision. I was going to delay the start of the Star Matrix course, uh, the second one, which was supposed to start on the 20th of April. And I was going to delay that until further notice. But then I, I realize now with hindsight, because I know that this, this, this amazing dream was related to Star Matrix. I realized that was as well a message to go ahead with it and to not let the current situation um, take us off course. I think 
so this is a you know this is a business decision a a karmic decision for me and i think that there are things that we can all keep on track to not be blown off course what was it you were working on or what was it that was your focus of attention before this happened what were your plans what were your dreams what were your things that excited you and got you up in the morning let's go back to that or let's keep keep that keep that forward momentum and not be in this space of stasis of waiting on our modern energy chart behind me this is sort of a zero point where there's no energy and it's very very close to being just a victim of circumstances and that's something we really don't want to be in this lifetime and i i understood this good morning fatima hello i understood this as well as a result of this dream that i had is that it's super important to keep our missions on track whatever they may be and even if your mission is like totally disrupted in some way and you can't do the things that you normally do let's say you have normal you have a restaurant and you are um you know and now nobody can come to your restaurant it's closed down and your 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 mission has gone off track and you're in this space of i don't know what to do so if we go back to the original mission what was the original mission well i like cooking for people and i absolutely love it when they love my food and my food is special and it's elegant and it's wonderful and it's food that only i would have to give and i want to, to bring that to the people to make them happy to give them a fantastic experience that makes their life a better place okay so that is the mission and if we come back to the mission and say right how can i fulfill that then there are other ways of doing this now you can start sharing your recipes online or even selling your recipes online you can um, do videos of yourself showing people how to cook things you could uh, start a takeaway service for your favorite customers you could ring them up and tell them that you can do that and then you can cook the food and put it in the car and take it to them this is um just a sort of a thought model a metaphor an example of how we can keep our original mission on track and for me my original mission is and has always been has always been to bring more happiness into the world to have people stop being so stressed to see what i see when i'll see people to understand their own incredible power and potential to create their own lives in a fantastic different way and to understand that to feel that inside themselves and to be empowered that's my mission is to empower other people to surprise themselves you know always always in my life i had these people and they they are so they have no idea how intelligent and powerful and creative and lovable as well they truly are i have i don't know why people don't realize this about themselves but i see people and i see their potential and so my seriously my life's mission is to connect people with their own internal power and watch them grow and watch them flower and watch them go wow not at somebody else but at themselves that is my life's mission and this must not be thrown off track by weird external circumstances no matter how weird they may be i have a, a gift i have a gift like the cook has a gift to make this extraordinary food that only he could make and i have a gift 
and that is to make spiritual principles real and so you can feel them in your own living body and so you can understand that this is not an illusion but that is the truth when I say that you are a shining being, you have an immortal soul and you have reservoirs of untapped power that would absolutely blow all your low self-esteem out of the water if only you could touch it. And I've worked my life to create methods and strategies to help people get there to become more empowered. And Star Matrix is extraordinary, just absolutely extraordinary. Good morning to Bilzen and to Nimit and to Claire. Lovely to have you here with me, my dear shining beings. I was just talking about how we need to go back to our life's mission, why we're here, what really our sort of destiny is, and not let this, this situation blow us off track, delay us, or even take us away from our personal destiny, our life's mission, just for a second. Whatever it is, there is a way to keep your life mission on track as well, whatever it may be. And that is powerful, that is inspiring, that opens the door to be really creative in thinking about how you can make it work, how you can keep your life's mission going. I've done uh, a number of things. I've, I'm putting the little book of positives online, which is great. And so if you see that, please do share it as well. The positives in it are really, really lovely. I have also started the uh, free course for everyone, The Power of the Positives. And we've had two units and there was no tapping in it. So if you don't like tapping, don't worry about it. Join the course. It is powerful. It is based on 50 years of research and experimentation with human beings and how human beings work. Because that's my destiny, that's my life's mission, that is my, the gift, that only I would have to give. But Star Matrix is something else altogether. And I'm going to include Star Matrix, a unit on Star Matrix in the Modern Energy Foundation course. So if you've already taken that, you can go back into your foundation course page and it will appear there within the next few days. I'm also going to do it in German so it's also added to the German foundation course because Star Matrix is so important, so powerful and so connecting. It, it needs to go out into the world, absolutely 100%. Star Matrix, in essence, is to remember positive memories, the highest positive memories, and to talk to other people about their highest positive memories. That it is a simple concept, but once you start getting into it, it is a game changer. As far as psychology is concerned, it is utter heresy. And I'm sure if there were still ways of burning people on the stake, they would like to put me on the bonfire and set fire to me from different angles. Because psychology has made its money out of the endless trauma chase from which there is no escape and from which nothing positive, powerful, proactive, future orientated ever grows. Star Matrix is the exact opposite. It's exactly the opposite. It's about making people feel strong, reminding them who they are, destroying the negative self, trauma-based self-concept, like an old, worn-out, crappy t-shirt that you just tear apart and you throw it in the bin, and come out of that with a totally different idea of who you are, what your mission is, what your destiny is in this life, and how you can go full steam ahead into a future that includes 
an afterlife filled with further star events. So I'm not even going to apologize this morning for talking about my life's mission, my, ha, my path, because I think that it is important for every one of us, every one of us shining beings, and there is nobody who's accepted from this. Just because you haven't got a business or you're on social handouts or you're disabled or you're just a housewife or just a carer, that doesn't mean you don't have a destiny. You do. Everybody does. And that's one of the most extraordinary things I've learned in this lifetime. It's not the chosen few. We have been wrongfully brainwashed to believe that once in a thousand years some prophet comes along or once in a lifetime one great creative artist emerges. That's just wrong. Human beings are extraordinary, each one of us. And we can't go forward as a society until we really, really reconnect with the power inside each single individual human being. Ooh, I'm on the soapbox this morning. Good morning, Joni and uh, Praksha and Andrea and Manitala. Hello. Um, and Tulin, I see as well. Hello, everybody. Hello, shining beings. It's really great to have you here with me. And um, I'm just loving to talk about these things of spirit, these things of energy, which are so important to keep our physical lives on track, to keep our physical bodies healthy, to keep our minds brilliantly clear so we can know things, we can understand it when people are trying to manipulate us or when they're trying to frighten us and drive us into crazy stupid decisions. Things of energy are the absolute gift in our lives and they are what keeps us strong when times get hard and the harder times become and the bigger the personal challenges the greater the gifts of energy become energy is just another word for love the gifts of love the strength and the power of love allows us to literally not just survive, but transcend every craziness of the day. And this has always been the case. The people who are strong in spirit are the ones who are not destroyed by the Black Plague. They are not destroyed by the horrors of wars. They're not even destroyed by the horrors of concentration camps. That's extraordinary. And it is available to each and every one of us. But we must start with really appreciating that we are the shining beings, that we really are the shining beings. Ah, oh, thank you, Joni. I'm glad to be here with you. Okay, guys, and so let's just do a little star matrix exercise. Let's <clears throat> assume the heart position if you like, and let's just ask ourselves, dear energy mind, remind me of one of the most wonderful experiences in my life. A real star memory. A memory that I know if I was ever to be in an airplane going down and my life was flushing before my eyes, I would remember that because it was such a powerful and wonderful thing that really happened to me.
And then we can ask this star memory, what was the time of day? When did that happen? Morning, night, afternoon? And what was the time of year when that happened? Spring, summer, autumn or winter? And what was the environment? And allow yourself to really get into that. Really take a look around in that memory. And then we can just ask ourselves, you know, and how did that feel? How did that make you feel inside? And as you remember this, I'd like you to pay attention how that affects you in yourself right now. Does it bring a smile to your face? Perhaps even a tear of joy to the eye? <laughs> Can you feel the expansion of self as you're remembering just one good memory from this lifetime? This one good memory is one of your true treasures and riches. And I would ask you afresh, I have said this before, start your own book of stars today. Get a notebook and start writing down positive memories, good memories. Just a little note. That time at the seaside, on the evening. <laughs> I'm not going to go any further there because there may be under 18s listening. But yeah, my dear energy mind has just sent me a memory of something very, very special. And I'm now smiling, not just in my face, but I'm smiling in my whole body now. Ah, thank you, dear energy mind. That was superb. And as soon as this recording is over, it's going in my book of stars. Positive memories are an amazing thing. They really are. And everybody can do that. And what I love the most is that people from the Star Matrix course immediately went out and used this on their, like on an old mother in a nursing home. Just simply instead of listening to her tales of her many medications to say, do you remember a time when you had a good time, perhaps on holiday or and then starting to talk about positive memories. And there were many tales of people who hadn't talked to their brothers or sisters or nephews for ages, for decades in some cases, and calling them up and knowing that they had a star memory that they could start the conversation with. And the conversation then went into totally unexpected connections and reconnections and left both parties at the end hugely uplifted. And this is what we need right now here in isolation. Above all else, you know, we can't visit mother in the nursing home or we can't visit uh, <coughs> somebody or a child that's moved to another country and to ring them up and start moaning how bad it all is together. That's not going to get anybody anywhere. But to ring up, say you have a, a daughter that lives somewhere else, you know, halfway around the world and you ring up and you say, you know, I was just thinking of that time when we were in that field and we collected daisies and I made a daisy chain for you and I took that photograph. Do you remember that? And with a bit of luck, the daughter will go, oh, yes, yes, I remember that. And wasn't there my cousin there as well? Yes, she was. And there is a different level of communication going on that connects people and makes them happy to be together and reminds them of what's really important in this life. And what's really important in this life are star memories. Memories of love and of connection and of awe and excitement. And they don't have to be even with other people. 
It can be with nature itself or with animals, where you felt this enormous connection to the much bigger grid, the, the, the web of life that holds us all. And connecting with that and reconnecting with that if we get stressed and the uh, connection is lost in the stress chatter, that is the most natural the most natural, the most humane and most wonderful energy technique that I know that I have ever discovered. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about this morning. I just wanted to say hello, Christine and Elia. Hi. Thank you for being here with me. Okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted to, to talk to you about. To keep your mission on track. To keep your destiny on track to become aware what it is that is the gift that you have always had to give, that you've spent your lifetime giving in various different ways. Your gifts of love to your society, to your family, to your friends, to the world. Every one of us has those gifts. We've been used to concentrating on what's wrong with each other. That's been the big mistake of humanity. We start asking ourselves and each others, what's right about this person? What's their contribution? And even so far as to say, how can I help this person make their contribution? How can I assist them on their path? How can I help this person fulfill their destiny? Now that is a way of thinking that is, again, what I would call star matrix thinking. We all have faults and problems aplenty. We all crazy in our own ways. Yeah, none of us are perfect. We are far from perfect. But let's stop bemoaning that fact and let's start looking at in which ways we are already perfect. These are our true strengths. And if we play to our strengths, we really start playing to our own personal strengths, then not only are we always strong, we really are the gift that only each one of us would have to give. So here we are. Thank you so much for listening, my dear, dear shining beings. I want to just bless you and thank you for being here. And I'd like you to keep doing what you've been doing already. Encourage other people, post positive ideas and positive news, uh, give your fingers an exercise and hit not just the like button, but the love button. If you have a keyboard or if you're good with the old thumbs, give a positive comment to people on their feed and on their timelines. Send them a link to some further information. You know, just, just ugh, take that love that you have so much inside of and be completely allowed to enact that now, to give that freely, to not care what anybody else thinks about you, to just be aware of you being this unique being on your personal path and you there are others who are also on their unique personal mission to their destiny and to help them along as well and it is really as simple in this day and age as to do a well done a thank you for sharing and hit that love button <laughs> Hit that love button. I'm going to give you a post-hypnotic suggestion. Every time you hit that love button on social media, an angel will get its wings. 
<laughs> okay, so yeah, so there we have it. Let us stay strong in spirit. Let us not just stay strong, let us stay joyful. Let us stay uplifted. Let us stay truly connected with each other, with the people we love in our lives, and also with that enormous grid that holds us all and that we know is perfectly real because we have touched it in our own personal star experiences in this lifetime. So please stay strong. Join me on my course, The Power of the Positives. It's Unit 3 uh, tomorrow at, on Monday at 11 GMT. If you haven't seen the first two parts, you can see them on YouTube on my channel and join us tomorrow and be all ready, ready to go. And on the 20th of April, the Starlight spaceship is going to take off for Star Matrix, the second journey. It's a beautiful thing. And I heartily invite anybody who would love to be on that exploration and to come back with your own treasures and riches and a completely different self-concept and a concept about other people and about humanity. Please join me if you will. Okay, lots of love to you. Blessings. May you have helpful angels, synchronicities, a plenty and an elegant way to make it through this challenging time whilst keeping your personal destiny right on track. Lots of love and I see you tomorrow for Power of the Positives Part 3. Bye for now. Have a brilliant Sunday. Bye everybody.